Welcome back to TV Road Trip. Let me ask you something. Did you know that before I played Jack the Tripper on Three's Company, I spent two and a half years on Walton's Mountain as the Reverend Matthew Fordwick? I didn't think you knew that. They were great years. And that was a great show about a family struggling to survive the trials of the Depression. They were the Waltons. The Homecoming was the name of the Waltons pilot, which premiered in 1971. These never-before-seen home movies were shot on the set by the father of Cammy Kotler, who played Elizabeth Walton. If you look closely, you'll recognize some of the original cast members, including Judith Norton, who played Mary Ellen, and a young Richard Thomas, who starred as John Boy. The Homecoming was filmed in frigid Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and it aired as a Christmas special about a poor mountain family contending with the hardships of rural life. But the real Walton's Mountain is not in Wyoming. It's actually more than 2,000 miles away in a little town called Schuyler, nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. And for our road trip to Schuyler, we brought along actress Mary McDonough, who played Aaron. Well, we know who you are. <laughs> you are our dream. We watched you forever. Wonderful, wonderful. There we go. There we go. Hi. Being here is, is probably a lot like it was in the 30s. I don't think it's changed that much here. So it makes me think of the show and when I was a kid and what it, what it was really like. The people here are all very friendly and they love family. And there's a sense of family here that you don't get in a large city. The Waltons was based on the early life of the man in the dark glasses, the show's creator, Earl Hamner, Jr. He was also the narrator of each episode. Earl and his seven brothers and sisters were born and raised in Schuyler, a village with no traffic lights, one restaurant, and four churches. I gradually realized that the place that I came from and that my family were unique and interesting and wonderful and, and a good subject to write about. And um, they fascinated me, and I've written about them primarily throughout my entire career. The show perfectly portrayed the small town values and morals that are still deeply ingrained here. I wanted the, uh, the people on my television show to reflect the people that I knew, their kindness, their patriotism, their, their religious values. We filmed the Waltons in the 70s, and it was a very um, t difficult time in America. There was a lot of turmoil going on with Vietnam and the war, and so for a family show to come in at that time, no one ever thought it would go. This is the house you remember from the TV show. But this is the family home in real life. In fact, Earl's brother Jim still lives here. Neighbors helped neighbors. You shared milk, you shared eggs, you sh shared chickens. Um, it depicted the true family life and the true feelings of the community. Up the street from the family home in a converted schoolhouse is the Walton's Mountain Museum. On display are some rare collectibles from the show as well as recreated rooms from the series. The real family is coming up, the actual real Hamner family. We were the fake family. So, oh, look, is that Sir? That's Earl. Earl. It's rocking <gasps> chair. Oh, my gosh. And the army. Him. I think that's on the set. That is on the set. That's on the front porch of the set. And here I am. No, oh, there. <laughs> it's Audrey. That's the real Aaron. That's, that's just um, who I played, but, but Audrey is the real one. And actually, people think we look quite alike, which I think is true. Yeah, very Do you think he cast <laughs> us because we look like you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even Mary McDonough is surprised by the striking similarity between the rooms here and those that were on the Hollywood set. So we are here in the museum in the kitchen set, and it's so close to the one we had on the show. It is so, I mean, like the table, we sat at these chairs and the, and the stove. And we, this is where we were always, would always chop. So it's really, it looks almost exact. It's, it's very odd. We're in the living room. This is the living room. This is our living room where we sat all the time. You guys always sat on the couch? Mm -hmm. But there are so many of you. And most of you sat on the floor. We were always pinching <laughs> each other. <laughs> Being mean. And this is where the radio was. And we would all sit around here, Michael and Ralph. But. The real radio is on loan from the Smithsonian. And Earl, they brought it back to this museum from the Smithsonian, right? right? 
And you know what my greatest memory about this is? Is Will, Will Gear. Oh, yeah. Somehow he always seemed to control that knob more than anybody in the show. And I and I can see his his hands because he had big strong hands. And I and I always remember him turning the knob. Well, here we are, and here we are in John, John Boy's Boy. room. And it's really Earl Boy's room. Correct. This is the bed where we, as kids on the show, would constantly come in, jump on the bed, bother John Boy, who was sitting there trying to write. The museum also houses a collection of costumes and keepsakes, which brought back fond memories for Mary. Here, come with me. <laughs> I, I've donated two dresses. Actually, my mother donated the other one. You'll see that later. But this is one of my pieces of wardrobe. But the star of the collection is a dress that Mary wore only once on the show. When we went to do the episode on the Waltons where I got married, my mom lent her wedding dress because it was of the style in the period. And they couldn't find a great dress. And so my mom said, well, why don't you wear my wedding dress? So I wore this dress in the episode um, where I got married on the show. Since the museum opened in 1992, more than 250,000 visitors have made the pilgrimage to Schuyler. We've had uh, visitors here from all over the world. A lot of people from Europe because uh, the show is still very popular in that part of the world. Just pulling up and seeing the house and the museum, um, I was just flooded with emotion, because like I was finally here. I got to see where this all started. I got to see where Earl grew up, where he shared his life with his brothers and sisters and his wonderful parents that instilled all these values in them. Um, I got to be there. It, it really became real to me when I got to see all that. Today's visitors had no idea they'd be meeting an original cast member. Is this the first time at the museum? Yes. What, what made you come here? She I've been wanting it. to for years. Yeah. And I said, and I was well, we were this old. close, and I said, I'm going to be I'm there. <laughs> for the Hamners, Skyler is rife with memories, some happy, some bittersweet. Traveling down a winding country road, Jim leads Mary to the Hamner family gravesite. The only other cast member to visit this hallowed ground was Richard Thomas. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. She was so great. And do you know the story that Earl always tells about how um, he gave her a tea allowance because so many people, people used to stop used to by? Drink, drink tea. Once the show started, she was giving people tea all the time? Yeah, she was a great lady. Now, is this your dad? <laughs> My father. Oh. Um, he was a, really a character, a great man. Earl's grandfather, the man portrayed by the wonderful Will Gear on the show, played an influential role in the creation of the series. He is also laid to rest on Walton's Mountain. My grandfather used to say that nobody owns a mountain, but uh, growing up in its shadow and living on it and taking nourishment from it, and when di we died, we were buried in it. We loved Walton's Mountain and felt it was our own. For nine seasons, viewers lived, laughed, and cried with the Waltons. And at the end of every hour, they bid us good night in a signature style that was also based on the real life experience of the Hamners. I've had friends that spent the night there and said it took about 10 minutes for everybody to finally say good night until Earl Sr. finally says, that's enough. My father would clear his throat very deeply, and that was our clue to shut up and go to bed. <laughs> the show may be long gone, but for Mary McDonough, the Waltons family lives on. My fondest memories are not so much of doing the show, but of what I have because of it. You know, we ha have this amazing extended family, and I think that's the most special part of it. As for Earl Hamner, the tranquil gentility and graciousness of a little town called Schuyler continues to enrich his life. It's something we've lost, but uh, I find it whenever I go back to Walton's Mountain or to my hometown of Schuyler. It's, it's a precious thing to have, and um, if people go there, I think they will find that same lovely thing. Well, that's it for TV Road Trip, and I want to thank Ken, Ben, Mary, Noel, and my good friend Jack Larson, and all the wonderful actors from these classic TV shows who have created characters so special that we just can't forget them. And I want to thank you, too. You're a very good traveling companion. Yes, you are. So until we take our next TV Road Trip together, I'm John Ritter, and I'm glad you came along for the ride.